What is the 3-4-3 formation? The 3-4-3 is composed of three center, backs, and the goalie, at the back. Then in midfield you have two central midfielders with two wide midfielders who act as wing backs as well as wide midfielders, forming four at the midfield. Up front there are two wingers and one central striker. Due to this layout, it is a very attacking formation, that is to say that you can have up to eight players attacking at once. It is quite vulnerable in defense simply due to the fact that there are only three dedicated defenders. For the 3-4-3 formation to work, you need tactically astute players who fully understand their role on the team. They must be flexible and know how to respond both with and without the ball. If they are not, you risk being overwhelmed in defense as your opponents exploit the gaps and space that the 3-4-3 formation leaves open at the back. But if your team does master this formation, you can certainly be on the front foot for a large part of the game and pin your opponents back with the sheer number of players you commit forward. Variations in Coach Minkrio Birwi's 3-4-3 formation Coach Minkrio Birwi usually vary his midfield and attack at certain points in a game. Let's see how Canon Sport changes shape during games while using the 3-4-3 formation. Triangle attack and flat midfield. During this system, coach Minkrio Birwi sticks with a flat midfield four and an attacking midfielder, usually Joel Gon who gives threading passes, behind two strikers, one big and one fast for instance usually Simon Mukat and Inanambal respectively, and in some cases a physically imposing central striker. Simon Mukt, who holds up the ball and brings others into play, the two forwards on either side can either act as playmakers or wingers or, as is more likely, a mix of the two. For maximum confusion of the opposition, coach Minkro Birwi's Cannon Sport front three may all continuously swap position, drop into space and generally wreak havoc. Congested midfield with two in attack. In certain games or at certain points in a game, we have seen coach Minkrio Birwi change or utilize a 3-5-2 formation. The attacking midfielders, usually Joel Gon, Njit, and Chai Keu, of coach Minkrio Birwi's 3-5-2 formation are usually given the freedom to go anywhere in the field. This coach Minkrio Birwi Cannon Sports System utilizes a defensive midfielder who acts as a destroyer, usually Kofana and Nyob in most cases. Coach Minkrio Birwi's two center midfield players will play a more defensive role and control the midfield by disrupting the opponent's attack. Their movement will consist of going about 20m inside the opponent's half to show support to the attack by giving options for a pass back mostly through their wingers and wing backs or full backs. Coach Minkrio Birwi's tactical attacking strategy with the 3-4-3 formation. Coach Minkrio Birwi's Cannon Sport has many attacking options thanks to their 3-4-3 formation. The build-up starts from the central defenders, Endage in most cases, who tries to pass the ball to a midfielder or to a forward. Against two opposite forwards, the highly defensive midfielder is free to receive the ball. As such the Minkro's central defenders can pass the ball to him either directly or using a central midfielder. When the opponent presses high with three forwards, Coach Minkro's goalkeeper would pass to a wing back or central midfielder. Cannon Sport creates goal scoring opportunities by controlling possession and creating passing angles, thereby overloading the opposition in certain areas in the field. While the main bulk of the attacking play comes from the forwards, the whole of Coach Minkrio Birwi's team heavily contributes their best for it to be a success. The two forward players, Inanambal and Mukt, are supported by the attacking midfielder, usually Gon, and the two wing backs, Ilandu and Matukau, from the midfield four who gives width up front. This can create pandemonium for the opposition as six players hover around their box. With a defensive midfielder mostly acting as a destroyer, usually Kofana and Nyob in most cases, and supporting defender behind the attacking force, they recycle possession by switching play when they are unable to make a breakthrough on one side. It should be noted that the role of coach Minkro Birwi's defensive midfielders is not just to destroy, clear off, the ball but also act as a deep-lying playmaker who connects the defensive line with the midfield line. 
The outer central defenders of Ming Crow's 3-4-3 tactic usually abandon and own and create numerical superiority on the wing by driving the ball forward to an out and for award going wing back thereby creating overloading in the opposition's half. With so many players in the opposition's half, Cannon has a lot of attacking options to choose from or make up front. This makes Minkrio Birwi's 3-4-3 formation so attractive. It gives the players a lot of runners to choose from. To create enough gap or passing lane in the position's defense. Cannon Sport goes an extra mile with enough movement within team as even the two strikers, Inanambal and Mukht, would usually drop in the half space to receive the ball. Coach Minkrio Birwi's tactical defending strategy with the 3-4-3 formation. Cannon Sports forwards play a key part in the defensive side of the 3-4-3 formation as it is up to them to pressure the opposition's defense, force them into mistakes, and win the ball high up the field. This helps to keep the opposition back in their own half. However during defense, Coach Minkro Birwi formation is usually switched to a 5-3-2 with close minimization of the opponent's space. This 5-3-2 during defending ensures the opposition cannot operate from the central axis of the field as they can hardly find free space. However, Minkrio's defense is vulnerable with only three at the back, as such, the forwards must be energetic and deep and deep from the front. As such Cannon Sports opponents are forced to play on the wings. In the case Cannon players would run as a unit to the side of the ball. The wing back in the other side will act as a center back. By staying forward, the cannon sports attackers can dissuade the opponent's full backs from joining in attacks as well as stop the opposition from passing the ball forward when possible. Coach Minkrow's 3-4-3 formation emphasizes that, all of the defenders keep their cool and not dive into a challenge carelessly as they will often have few players at the back to cover for them if their challenge goes wrong. That is to say that, they should stand off and avoid making tackles if they are not certain of success so that the team can get back in position. To conclusion. The 3-4-3 formation is incredible to use if you can get it right. Every single player needs to know exactly what is demanded of them and you can put the opponent under immense pressure with the high energy display that the formation demands. It is a very demanding formation both physically and mentally and the players have to be on top of their game to make it a success. Communication and coordination are key to organizing the team while the technical abilities each player has helps control possession and force the play up the pitch. Such players on the team afford the coach a high level of tactical variation. In this attacking formation, you will have a fun time playing offensive football. And if you attempt the formation with younger players it will help them to gain a greater understanding of the beautiful game and how each and every one of their teammates are crucial to the success of the team.